Hi, welcome back to Informatica tutorial. Last class we have seen uh, lookup transformation. So uh, we will see one more variation of that. So I have a employee uh, table here and it has uh, ID name and uh, department ID. So last class I have passed uh, this ID to a lookup table which is departments and then I passed uh, this as the input and got uh, department name as the output. So in this class uh, we will see uh, so what happens if uh, there are uh, multiple values matches uh, in the lookup table. So suppose I have my first record uh, like this. This is employee ID and this is department ID and uh, here we had only one record for uh, department ID 10. Now uh, let me introduce one more uh, record here for uh, department uh, ID 10. So uh, we got some name like administration uh, here in the last class. Now I'm going to introduce one more record uh, called admin underscore test for the same department ID 10 and let's see uh, what value we are going to get and uh, when there is a multiple match like this we have seen that there are four options first value last value and uh, any value and report error so there are four options so in this uh, class we will see how uh, we are going to get uh, if we have two records like this uh, what is the first value what is the last value uh, any value and report uh, error so uh, how, what is the reference to say what which is first one and which is last one so let's see all this in this class which of these two records will come when uh, I query for department ID equal to 10 in my lookup table so let's see what uh, how to do this in Informatica so we have seen uh, that in properties I've given use first value uh, here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one more DEPT underscore test uh, table in my HR schema which is my source schema because I don't want to disturb the departments table which is given by Oracle in the HR schema so I'm going to create one more table called DEPT underscore test so let's do that here create table DEPT underscore test HR dot so this is going to be in HR schema as select star from HR dot departments so this creates exactly same table as departments and then I'm going to insert one more record. So let me query this table first uh, HR dot DEPT underscore test order by department ID. So I have uh, a department number 10 department ID 10 with administration department name. So I will insert one more record into DEPT HR dot DEPT test select star from hr dot dept test where department id equal to or i will say uh, values 10 depart administration uh, underscore test uh, 200 and 1700 so i'm going not changing these two values because i'm not interested in them so i have inserted one row and i'll commit this and I'll query this table again uh, select star from department HR dot department test so I have two records now so there is a multiple match when I, I look for a department 10 here so let's see how it is going to be so I will come to my workflow uh, manager and refresh the mapping and then run this again so uh, let's see how many records will get loaded the number won't change it will be still be 107 records and let me check the output select star from employees now where especially i'm interested in department id equal to 10 so let let me check what this gives me so the department name has come as administration only so i've selected first value in the lookup 
uh, property here and what is the first value how do we know so when I uh, check the session log for each lookup transformation it is going to create a lookup uh, query uh, SQL query so this query if I take and execute in the HR schema let me check what I'm going to get so it is ordering by department ID comma department name so in this the first value we are getting is administration and the second value is administration underscore test so that's why we got the first value as administration now let me change uh, this property to the last value use last value and then save this mapping now let me refresh uh, this mapping once and run this and see in workflow monitor what I'm going to get here so I got 107 records and now let me check in the target schema what I'm going to get so you can see here uh, the department name is administration underscore test because I've selected use last value uh, now uh, let's see again the SQL override query is not going to change it is uh, still the same the order by is department ID on on or department ID and department name so the last value is administration underscore test for uh, department ID equal to 10 so now let me see uh, the other two options if I change uh, this to report error what is going to happen so I'm saving this and coming here and refresh the mapping and saving this so now let me run this so it should report an error now because there are two uh, records for department number 10 so multiple match uh, found in lookup so it has thrown an error to me so now let me change uh, finally uh, this to any value use any value and then run this again so I'll refresh the mapping and save this and run this so this time we don't know what value it is going to give us it could be administration or it could be administration underscore test so if I uh, query the target employees where department ID equal to 10 we got administration so because we have left to Informatica what value to return so it has returned administration so basically uh, this is uh, uh, in this class we have seen how lookup policy on multiple match property in the lookup transformation will change the output so in the next class we will see uh, one more variation of lookup transformation